She say, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my Jeep Cherokee. And my mom, I'm sorry. Hola, como esta? All right, so as y'all know, the most recent video, I tried to get this Dodge Ram or a BMW or a Volvo. It did not work because I'm a bid master. It screwed me over. May or may not have been my fault. So I decided, let's go ahead and take a little bit of the co-part money. Oh, now we got this boat anchor. Ah. This wind is really heavy. He's not exaggerating. Oh guys, I went to Harbor Freight and like I picked this thing up. I went all the way to the back of the store. I went, got to the counter and I realized they literally had them at the end of the counter in the checkout. I was I like an idiot. Coming. I know. It's yeah. okay. The cashier was cute. I think she was impressed. But today we're going to show you how to install a winch on a 91 Jeep Cherokee. If you guys remember the foreigner that we had, we actually got, I think it was the same winch. It was either yeah. the 12,000 or the 9,000 pound. It was 12,000. Um, we had the 12,000 pound, the forerunner. We installed it completely wrong. The main thing we messed up, like wired it really bad. So this install is going to be proper. It's going to be correct. And hopefully it works great. And we'll have to make a new testing video too out of it. Yeah. So. And one thing I love about this is it fits nice and perfect right in between the light pods. Yeah, I love that. Looks good. Yeah, we're gonna have to cut this. Does it just unbolt? No. Safety first. Where's the motorcycle helmet, bro? Nah, we upgraded. <laughs> we upgraded to a proper mask. Uh, the previous owner of the Jeep installed this. Fleet. It, it looks rigid enough to uh, support the winch and whatever mud we get ourselves into. Yep. There's four bolts that mount the winch and this part right here is gonna be a little bit more difficult. But that's why we got a $10 drill bit. That's an expensive ass drill bit, am I right? Is that cardboard? We'll put it kind of like right behind it. It'll work because the AC kind of still works, so I still kind of want to protect it. So that's why I just put this cardboard right there. Gotcha. So I'm just gonna cut it real quick. Cut here, cut here, and then cut this off. And cut there, cut there, cut there. Okay, so we got this part out. This big baby. Big Bertha. We should, should we big name Bertha. it Big Bertha? Big Bertha. Big cheap Bertha. Big Guys, this winch, I found a coupon for $100 off. With tax, it was about $324. Pretty damn good, honestly. I mean, it is Harbor Freight. It's not worn or anything, but... Dude, that looks pretty sharp. I mean, if you take the cardboard out. Zach made a good point, guys. Since the hole, as you can see, is kind of hidden within the uh, frame of the winch, we can't really get a Sharpie down there. So we're gonna have to draw a box around that hole and just mark it like that. It's a little bit more complicated, but not that bad. Is that drill lube? We got it all mounted up. It's looking pretty good. So far, it's pretty easy. We got that all scratched up already. So Zach's tightening the bolts up, and we're gonna go ahead and wire her up. Okay, so first we gotta find a place to mount this. But as you can see, uh, this, these two, I believe, go to the winch. These three go to the winch. So that's all the length we have from the winch to the control box, which kind of sucks. Thanks, Harbor Freight. Could do something like that. Yeah. Doesn't look that bad. You could just zip tie it, honestly. So while Zach's working on the mounting issue, I'm gonna go ahead and get the battery ready to go for the winch. All right, guys, so um, as you can see, Zach did some ghetto insulation here. I didn't do that. You didn't do that? Uh -huh. well, Previous owner did. Previous owner did that, okay. So it was not Zach for the record. Uh, positive and negative both have two hookups. So we're gonna do the smaller one because this, this pretty much fits the contact already on there, so. And this, I believe, is gonna run to the winch, so. So right now we're running ground cable from the battery to the winch. So this, oh by the way, this is gonna be a pain in the ass to hook up because I'm pretty sure it goes on the bottom of the winch. So to mount the control box, and I'm sure we'll get some flame for this, but f uh, Zach zip tied the box onto the frame right there. So that's it's pretty okay, I'd say. It's definitely, it's definitely sturdy. Right now we're just loosening the winch up so we can get underneath here and get to that negative connector for the battery. Thank you. 
Okay guys, so one thing we forgot, this is the little ground wire for the control box, and this actually needs to go on the ground point for the winch, which also runs directly to the battery. So I'm sure you could run this directly to the battery, but it's just easier to run it right here. So that's what we're doing. So the third time we've taken it off, three times now. All right guys, so we ran into a problem. The plate that goes in front of it, there's nowhere for it to bolt up to. There's no holes in the front of the winch. As you can see here, there's two holes on each side and there's nowhere to bolt it up. So that's to be figured out at a later date. I don't know, not sure on that. But we're gonna go ahead and we're about to test it out and see if it works. Well, you want to test it out real quick? I see a couple trees over there. Next episode, guys. Next episode. Zach's got to go to class, so we will be testing it. Hopefully, are we testing it? When are we testing it? This week? Yeah, this week. Sometime this week, so stay tuned for that. I'm proud of ourselves. This is the first legit winch install we've done. Minus the zip ties, but hey, even professionals use zip ties. Yep. This is Novice Garage, after all. Hope y'all like this. We'll see y'all in a few days. Peace, guys. Adios. How could I make sense when I got